You can see this is a custom coping cap that has a bend in it to match with the stone coated metal mansard that when they did the mansard, they installed this thing. So basically you come up two feet, that's a seven inch cap and you're gonna wrap over. So we're gonna add three feet on these little walls here. Now, as you come down this roof here, I already measured these walls, they're coming up four feet. So we're coming up four feet right here on these walls. So we need to include the, the coming up the roof and the wrap back as a part of our square footage of the roofing system. Another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna count our penetrations. You can see our penetrations. We have four HVAC racks here with four split jack boxes here for all the AC conduits and all that stuff to go into. Now, one thing you wanna do is you wanna check the height of the ACs. You can see that these ACs are lifted 20 inches over the roof level, which is good. But if we're going to add slope to this roof, then we need to factor that in. We're gonna have to see what our average height of our tapered insulation is gonna be at these AC machines. These, we very possibly could bury these AC legs. And there is a code that requires, I believe it's 18 inches that the HVAC machines need to be lifted off of the roof. So if we're gonna add tapered insulation, it's gonna bury these legs and these are gonna to have to be installed onto new racks to meet current Florida building code. Something to keep in mind. 